Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Portia back with another video. And today we are going to be making some cracked pineapples or candied pineapples straight from the can. You know what I'm saying? So all you need for this video is sugar, carrot syrup, pineapple chunks or slices. And yeah, that's it. So we're going to open our pineapples and drain them. We're going to drain all of the juice out of them. Then we're going to lay them on these paper towels so that they can drain um, a good percentage of the juices. You can leave these like this for like 30 minutes up to an hour. I'm just going to do it while my candy is cooking in the pot. And I'm about to show y'all how to do that, okay? And I know the light is bad, y'all. Bear with me. Okay, so after you get um, the amount of pineapples that you want to make, you're just going to put a paper towel over them um, and leave them covered, okay? Okay, so in my bowl, I have a half a cup of water, half a cup of corn syrup, and then one whole cup of sugar. I like to mix mine up before it starts to boil, just until everything kind of dissolves a little bit. Um, and I'm going to cook this on medium heat once it starts boiling i'm not going to um i'm not going to be messing with it anymore okay so go ahead and get this out of the way i'm gonna add my food coloring last and if you watch my videos then you know what i'm about to do okay so i stuck some toothpicks and some scores into the pineapples and i also changed the napkins um just because i didn't want them sitting in the juice so this is to get any excess excess juice off to try to get them as dry as possible because they are really really wet you know they did come out of a can so another thing i wanted to show y'all was my thermometer okay y'all so this is a candy slash deep fried thermometer um a lot of people love these they swear by these which is they, they're fairly accurate they're really really accurate so you just want to get your candy to the hard bar stages y'all can see they have the little stages right there you want to get it to the hard uh crack stage my apologies which is about 300 degrees um try not to overcook your um candy and make sure you always watch it because it's really really easy to um burn or you know mess it up once it gets past that stage okay so try your best so you know watch it and Everything should go into place. You can also do the water method, which is when you take uh, some of the candy, you drop it into a cup with some cold, cold water. If it gets really, really hard and it cracks like instantly with a, like a little snap, that's how you know you'll be at the hard crack stage. Okay. So, yeah, just pay attention to that kind of stuff. All right. Is this giving y'all tingles like ASMR vibes or no? But yeah, so we know it's not ready. When the bub when it's bubbling rapid like this, it's not ready. I got plenty of other um like candy videos that I probably can link. Um, and y'all learn different tips of those, and I'll put them down below just so y'all can kind of see um the process. Because I want to keep repeating myself every time I do something candy. But yeah, so this right here, this is how you know it's not ready. The bubbles get really, really big and really slow when the candy's close to being done, okay? And it should take you from like about 10 minutes. It depends on your stove and what temp you got yours on. I got mine on medium. So, which is five. So, um, yeah, I'm just letting mine just bubble do its thing, okay? I'm not, you don't add the can, the color in until you're done with the candy. Um, because your candy can change color. So, that's why it's clear. Or I can just leave it clear. It don't really matter to me. But yeah, so. Okay, so in the meantime, in between time, I took took some Jolly Ranchers, hard Jolly Ranchers, y'all, and just crushed them up in my little Nutribullet, and this is what we have. We got some little crystals, okay? Okay. See how quiet that is, y'all? It's just like, like slow bubbles. I still don't think it's all the way completely ready yet, but, oh, and if y'all get sugar on the side of y'all, uh, freaking, what you call this thing? Pot. Try to watch it to me. Sugar on the side of your pot. You have to always take a brush and um. Can you go? Wash yourself. 
a brush with some water on the side, but still don't stir it. I don't ever, don't ever stir it. That's just to get the crystals off the side, but that's not bothering me, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Thank you. Okay. So I got my thermometer. See it? I'm not touching the bottom. It's so foggy. Okay, so as y'all can see, I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, there it goes. It's still not ready. We are at the softball, so we need to get up to the hard crack stage. So I'll be back when I'm there. Okay, y'all. So I added my food coloring, just a few drops, um, and I cut my heat off. Now here go my pineapple. I'm only gonna do a few on camera. Just because, um, yeah, it's hard to record and do this at the same time, okay? I'm not gonna cap. So, there we go. Put this to the side. I should add some more food color, but I kind of like this color, so it's okay. But, yeah, I'm putting it on parchment paper. So, when I get done dipping, I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like. And, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I crushed up some, uh... Jolly Ranchers, and I'm gonna put those on top to make them crack. Okay. Okay, y'all. So this is what our great. I mean, <laughs> this is what our pineapples look like. They ain't perfect, but they're good. <laughs> and that's just what it is. Okay. So yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come on by, and we out. So I'm gonna pick one. Mm hmm. Did I give y'all tingles? Mm-hmm.